Hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor, but you can call me Alien, and welcome back to another video here on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Minecraft Preview. I'm going to show you how to install the Minecraft Preview if you're actually on a Windows device as well, a Windows 10 or 11, because um, it seems to be a little bit harder than you might imagine, although I believe it is going to get easier soon. And this is also just a general information video to, to give you a little bit of information about what the Minecraft Preview actually is, and also also how it's different from the Minecraft beta, although they are kind of also the same. So right now I'm actually in the Minecraft beta. This like right here is the Minecraft beta. And of course, we're going to switch over to the Minecraft preview in a bit after I've actually done the tutorial to show you guys how to get into it because I'm going to be going into the preview for the first time in the tutorial, although I do already know how to get into it myself. So that's absolutely fine. But before we do that, let's just take a look at what the Minecraft preview actually is. So the Minecraft preview is an evolution of the Minecraft Bedrock program. While our betas are currently limited to Xbox, Windows and Android, Minecraft Preview will less expand to additional platforms. Minecraft Preview is also a separate app slash game that you can play without impacting your standard Bedrock experience, and it will let you test out the latest and greatest features. Also with Minecraft Preview, you will no longer have to choose to play on the beta or the release version. You can play on both at, on the same device or console and uh, I mean, I'd assume you can also play on them at the same time. So we kind of have multi-instancing in a way, which is pretty cool. And then you can see here, it's coming to several of our platforms, including iOS and Windows 10 slash 11. I'm personally, am on Windows 11. What I show you today will also work on Windows 10. And uh, I don't have an iOS device to show you this on because it seems like the spots for that are still quite limited. Now you can see here, they are also bringing it to other platforms. So I'd assume it's going to be coming to Xbox as well, seeing as the old beta was already on Xbox and of course Microsoft. Microsoft own Xbox and Microsoft own Minecraft. It just makes sense, right? Now, over here about the current Minecraft beta program, for now, it's still going to be available. However, I'd assume once the preview stuff is kind of finished and on all of the devices and that sort of thing, I would imagine the beta program will be retired, which is a good thing. If you don't know, the Minecraft Bedrock beta program was just an absolute pain to get into. So it's a lot nicer to see this new preview system. Like, honestly, it's actually really cool. Now, on Minecraft Preview, it will be added to the Minecraft Launcher that they recently released. So, of course, if you don't know, recently they put Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Java Edition into the same launcher, and apparently that launcher also needs an update. How convenient. <laughs> so, of course, this is the Minecraft Launcher that they released a couple of months ago now, I think. Or, or weeks, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Minecraft Launcher. Of course, it has Minecraft Java Edition and it has Minecraft Bedrock Edition all sort of built into it. And Minecraft Dungeons, apparently. I didn't even realize that was a thing. And in the future, it's actually going to have a Minecraft Preview over here as well, which is pretty cool. But for now, it does not have that. Unfortunately, you cannot import worlds to the Minecraft Preview, which is kind of strange. But uh, anyway, and there are also a couple of other features that aren't in it, including the cross-platform multiplayer, which is also kind of a shame. Marketplace, but that's only for some platforms. Realms and featured servers, which kind of makes sense, seeing as I don't even think they released Bedrock server software for beta versions so it kind of makes sense that they're also not for the preview versions and then achievements which also kind of makes sense in case there's a bug that allows you to get an achievement or something but overall that's all you really need to know about the minecraft preview it's a great way for you as an actual player of the game to test upcoming minecraft features to obviously make sure that they actually are good and stuff like that one of the issues that bedrock has had for so long is that its current beta program has just been so bad and so hard to get into it means that players aren't really testing it as much as the java edition snapshots on java edition you can just load into a snapshot super easily on bedrock edition it's a massive massive pain to do which obviously kind of stops people from wanting to just test it in the same way they might test a java snapshot so this is certainly one step in the right direction for helping bedrock edition become a better game but anyway enough about that let's actually take a look at how to get into the minecraft preview if you're of course on windows 10 or Windows 11, such as myself. Bear in mind, this will not impact your normal version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can, they are literally completely separate apps. But anyway, because of that, of course, you're going to need to actually close Minecraft and you're going to need to head over to this link in the description, aka.ms slash preview windows fix. And you would assume that if you search Minecraft in the Microsoft store, it would come up with the Minecraft preview, but that doesn't happen. Same if you actually search for Minecraft in the Xbox app 
the Minecraft preview doesn't seem to come up. From what I can tell, the only way to get to it is actually through this link that I will, of course, link in the description. So if you just hit enter, that will actually forward you onto the Microsoft Store, even though you can't search for it, it still comes, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, after you've done that, you can then press install, like so. And it's gonna download, and depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi, this may take hours, years, months, or just a few days, or even just a couple of seconds. Or most likely, it's just gonna take a couple of minutes. But anyway, let's just wait for this to download. So as you can see right here, it has eventually downloaded as you can see right here. So you can just press play from here or you can like open it really any other way that you want. I've got loads of things open. Okay, so to open it, you can just of course type in Minecraft and it will come up with Minecraft preview over here and it'll open and it looks very, very similar to normal Minecraft Bedrock Edition, especially on the first startup. Now, if you press this button, you will of course sign in to your Xbox account or your Microsoft account, hopefully. There we go, and um, I should probably import my skin pack real quickly. Okay, so it would appear that this can actually import skin packs and behavior packs and things like that, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to have a look around, have a play around with it, and I'm going to give you some more information that may not have been listed in the FAQ. Just let me, just, this is literally my first time opening it, so just give me a couple of minutes to like actually figure out what's going on. <laughs> okay, so I've been looking around this Minecraft preview app for quite some time, and obviously the first major thing that you can notice is that it has a completely different panorama screen. So uh, I'll of course add this to my pano selector as soon as I can. Now in terms of the settings and all of that sort of thing, it is basically the same. I can't really see any major differences here. Same with the dressing room, although it does have this beta UI that I actually can't even remember if ha has been added in the latest version. I think it has been now. Interestingly, this button is here. Now this is the import world button. However, if I remember correctly, it actually said that you wouldn't be able to import worlds into this version. So not quite sure what is going on over there. As well as that, you have this, the servers option. Like, what? You can add custom servers. So once again, not quite sure what's going on over there, because it did say that servers wouldn't be available for this version and it said importing worlds wouldn't be available for this version yet they both are so now i'm kind of intrigued can we import my beta test world so as you can see there i've just imported it and let's just load the world anyway and uh yeah i've just loaded into the world completely fine so this is my beta test world and uh well we're here i guess i'm gonna have to rename it to preview test world now but it works fine like <laughs> it said on the faq that i shouldn't be able to import stuff but I can. So, like, devs, you've uh, you kind of forgot to remove some features. I don't really know what's going on here. It's pretty cool that we can. Maybe that was only for the iOS devices, and maybe for Windows 10 or 11, you actually can import stuff. I'm going to assume that's what's happened here. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool to see that you can import worlds. But yeah, other than that, it is literally just a preview of Minecraft, exactly like how the betas were, just a beta version of Minecraft. It adds in some of the latest features, and that is, well, it, honestly. There's not really any major differences, like even the differences listed on that FAQ about features that weren't meant to be here are here. So I'm incredibly confused what's going on but anyway but yeah other than that that is going to be it for today's video if you're interested in more minecraft bedrock edition content then feel free to like and subscribe today to join the alien empire i'll see you in the next video coming very very soon bye